Kristen, Senator Phil Fortunato, who represents portions of King and Paris County, wants the AG's office to weigh in on pawn shops and assault weapons. Essentially, if a pawn shop takes in an assault weapon as collateral, can they give that firearm back to the owner? Or if the owner doesn't come back to pay their loan, can they keep that gun and then sell it to recoup their losses? The senator says this new law has pawn shops in limbo. At Pistol Annie's in Bonnie Lake. This is a handguard for an AR. They're not fans of Washington's new assault weapons ban. This is illegal. This isn't, this is, it's a, it's a chunk of metal. Chad Bear says the law has hampered business. This is now illegal to sell in Washington. Leaving them with inventory they can't sell. I think in the building somewhere to the tune of right around 50 grand. But that's not the only issue. Pistol Annie's is a pawn shop. If somebody leaves a pawn here and they don't come back for it, what do I do with it? Chad tells me this is an issue many pawn shops are dealing with because people use assault weapons as collateral to get loans they need, but if the owner doesn't come back, the collateral left behind is no good. Now I'm stuck with something that I can't transfer, I can't sell it, I can't do anything with it, it just sits here. An average person should be able to read this and say, oh, I'm exempt, or oh, this is covered. Senator Phil Fortunato says this situation could have been cleared up if his amendment to the assault weapons ban would have been accepted. Pawns are exempt from this because if they pawn it, it's not a sale and they're getting their own firearm back. But since it wasn't? So now we just gotta keep asking the AG, is this covered, is this covered, is this exempt? Which isn't ideal for the people working at impacted businesses. It's frustrating and it's stressful.